Hey, what is I'm here in another video. We're back with another video, and I'm extremely sorry for not uploading. But besides that, today's video is a new series brought to my channel, which is Cinema 4D. And it's if you guys know what Cinema 4D is, it's pretty much how to make 3D stuff and intros. I make intros in it, well, not anymore. But um, that's that's pretty much explaining Cinema 4D. <laughs> People use it for animations and editing, stuff like that. But to show off, this video is a second layer, or a hat layer, hair layer, then whatever you want to call it, um, just on here. It, so you guys don't have to make it, um, this is a 3D one, or extruded, um, to say, left to say, pretty much. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So, um, actually, when you guys download it, you guys should get this. And pretty much you just uh, want to go to your content browser on the side here um, actually at up uh, content browser then you want to go to presets go to file new preset call it whatever click ok then right click and show and explore so that will pretty much bring up there and then drag it in there and it should be there that's pretty much it that's how you get it yeah so that's pretty much it so and now I'm going to show you how to use it so once you get it, once you open it, you'll get this, pretty much. Um, so now you want to click the plus button here. You want to go to the head, and you want to go get your texture. And again, with the textures are really weird. So let me minimize right here, and let me go get my skin. Um, I already have my skin, but then you want to open Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, you can use any um, artsy thing, or you can use your... or uh, use your skin or make your skin so you want to open up your skin so I'm gonna use mine if I can find it and if you guys can't hear the mouse anymore um, that, that, that's amazing so I am gonna use my skin I'm just gonna move it to the desktop go click it so now you want to zoom in here and pretty much you want to count out the pixels from your head or you can just do this, just select the whole hat layer, press control C, uh, um, then go to the head, go to the corner, then select the whole head here, then click control V. And if it's not really centered well, you want to click control T and move it however you want it. So I know where mine is, so mine's right there. So now you want to make sure you have right here is merged down with the skin. So now you want to press go on the hat layer right here, that one, one the one you um, copy paste. Then you want to press Control E. Then you want to press Control S to save it. So mine I put on the desktop. So that's pretty much it. it. That's all you have to do with the skin. You have to make sure. And um, again, uh, some are really weird. Oh, also, um, if you have a hat one, like no, not a hat, a hood one, you want to do something else too. So I'm going to use Jujutsu King's uh, skin. So I'm going to get it really quick. My card, skins, friends, Chris, I have, to have, to have, I have a lot of skins, okay. Didn't done. Not mistake. Okay, so I have Jujutsu King's here. I'm going to put, move it to the desktop. You want to open your skin here. I'm going to move in. Now you want to go to this part where you have it over here. Um, you want to select it. Oh, I'm trying to figure out something because his his, his layer here is really weird. Okay, deselect one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It's okay. So then you want to select your hat layer right here. That's right here. If it's right here, just right here. You want to press Control C. Control V. Then you want to press Control T and you want to move it as if it was turned around like this, like a pretty much a mirror effect. So I'm gonna move it there, pretty much. And then you want to make sure that the previous one was deleted. Erase. Then you want to move it over to the head. So that's pretty much how you would do that. I'm gonna click No. Um, uh, there. So once you have your skin, you want to double click this texture file down here, 
want to find your texture. Just mine's on your desktop. Click no. Put MVP none. Then you want to drag it to here. Which remember you'll have this at first. You want to unclick it and drag it to here. So once you have this selected, you want to press the polygon tool right here and make sure you have live selection. Then you want to go down to the here to the polygon uh, editing mode. So now you want to select your second layer, which um, make sure you're holding shift by the way. And if you selected something that isn't it, such I select right here, which are, you can just hold control and click it so it's not selected anymore. So you just want to select it. Mm. Here. Then you want to press U and I really quick. So it's stick it uh, together. Then press delete. So pretty much you have this already. The normal layer. If you guys don't know, you'll have this as normal, but it's extruded. So um, since you have this here, now you want to go over here. Make sure it's has a plus sign right there. Click on the second layer, make sure it's on object right here. Uh, make sure subdivisions just here. And this is a thickness as obviously shown. Then you wanna um, change it however you want it. So usually um, hair is one um, and the textures are really weird. Uh, but first of all, then the glasses are usually two. And then hood is usually three or four. See, see what I mean? But, uh, I'll show you examples of those. Soon. So, classes I said is usually two. So, you guys can see well, some of the textures are really, really bugged out. So, if you want it to be fixed, that you want to make sure it's finalized and make sure you have it selected and click C. So, now you're able to select the extruded. If you didn't do that before, you wouldn't be able to do that. And then you want to select it. So, now once you want fix it you if it's a solid color you can just go in here delete that uh, wait not yet um, make uh, make a new material down here go here click the color choose color and have the solid color as your glasses click OK make sure you have specular checked off or you'll have that shine and you want to go to the head click here click the textures things right here or her press delete then drag it on there and you'll have it done but again it, I am usually um, it won't uh, it won't always be like that um, so you want to select whatever is messed up and then drag it, the color onto it so that's pretty much how to show it off um, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you guys are wondering how to get it on your rig or your yeah your rig pretty much um, so I'm actually I don't need that anymore so now I have mine here so you guys can open your rig but I have my own rigs or my other rigs rigs uh, ski rig I might here so mm, so mine, you, you can just press down, head slash head items, and then drag this into your head. So now it's on your head, pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire video. Um, if you guys just want to know how to make this, you can go down to the description, and it'll show you how to make and how to make the second layer. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you guys want a certain thing to be made or a certain thing you want uh, in Cinema 40. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!